The term climate change is not something new. It only recently became more prominent in our daily lives as the climate is changing more rapidly, thus affecting more people one way or the other. Some of those most affected are predominantly food producers, who one could say have perfected the art of cultivating fruit and vegetables to ensure optimum food security. Namibia is no exception as we consider the culprits contributing to climate change as the industrialized countries, rather than developing countries like us. Namibia depends on a natural beauty and resources to sustain a population of which many are dependent on the land to make a living. In Namibia alone, more than 70% of the population depend on agriculture, thereby making it more and more difficult to make a living due to the extremes. This could either be extreme temperatures, extreme drought or, as in this year's case, extreme rainfall, which is also not good for agriculture in this semi-arid region of the world. Dr. William R. Klein from the Center for Global Development in Washington has done extensive research on climate change and its impact on the globe. But what is climate change? What are its contributing factors? And is climate change a new thing? Climate change in layman's language is essentially that the more carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere, the more heat we trap. The incoming uh, heat from the sun is partly re reflected back out to space. Well, as we put more carbon dioxide, it traps it, keeps it from being reflected out. So that's, uh, that's what climate change is. There is a natural variation in the climate that has to do with the orbit uh, of the Earth around the sun, the tilt of the axis and so forth. But those changes are on much longer time scales and much smaller uh, than what we're uh, seeing now. That's the dramatic thing about the present change uh, is the speed with which the planet is warming up. Listening to Dr. Klein, it is evident we have to face the changes. However, we also have to look for solutions in many ways either by adapting to the changes, looking for alternatives in terms of food production and trying to create better and more heat-resistant crops. But what is the worst-case scenario and will Namibia be in the firing line of this natural disaster if we do not act sooner than later? Well, the worst-case scenario by 2100 is that global temperatures are about uh, 4 degrees Celsius higher, and that's sort of a central worst case. I mean, it could be double that in the extreme, uh, unlikely, but uh, extreme possibility. Uh, in many ways, though, the eventual effects uh, are only seen over 200, 300 years, and they involve massive sea level rise, uh, species extinction. Uh, in the scale of this century, what we're talking about is increased drought, uh, reductions in agricultural productivity by about uh, 40% uh, in, in, in India, 30% uh, in, in, in Africa. Namibia, the, my calculation in my book, shows reductions of uh, basically 40 to 50%. So agriculture is one of the areas that would be the hardest hit. And the affected? The poor are the most exposed. The poorer countries, uh, agriculture is a larger fraction uh, of their GDP. Uh, the poor countries have uh, less capacity uh, of responding. Uh, and so I think it will be very important that uh, the nations uh, cooperate uh, to provide support for um, adjustment to climate change, but also to help the poor countries um, uh, make the transition. Dr. Klein's first book, Global Warming and Agriculture, was published more than 15 years ago. We asked him if the scenario has since improved. We have lost a lot of time. It's understandable because in 1992, when I wrote that book, uh, there was much less certainty about uh, how this uh, was going to progress. Uh, there's been a great accumulation of evidence, a number of uh, rounds of the International Panel on Climate Change, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has increased the scientific evidence. Uh, so. It's understandable why we would lose this time. There was some progress. The, the Europeans in particular went ahead with their Kyoto Proto Protocol. They had some luck in, uh, not luck, but success in, in restraining the increase of their emissions. Um, but uh, we could have used that time uh, better.
Since Namibia is not yet an industrialized country, we hardly contribute to climate change. This is because we don't burn billions of tons of fossil fuel like so many in the developed world. However, we can address the situation by using less harmful fuels, pesticides, chop down less trees and adapt to a healthier and more effective routine in our daily lifestyle.